Now we go to Kevin Lum with the latest and greatest in entertainment news. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> so, unfortunately, all good things come to an end. And in the eighth and final season of Desperate Housewives, the stakes for everyone on Wisteria Lane are at an all-time high. For season eight, Carlos deals with, with the murder of Gabby's evil stepfather and the cover-up by Susan, Gabby, Brie, and Lynette. Feelings of guilt begin to overcome everyone in different ways. Susan starts to withdraw from her friends and family and copes with the murder of her true love, Mike. As Lynette and Tom grapple with their separation and impending divorce, Lynette is having trouble making the right choices ever since she participated in the cover-up. But don't, get, don't count her out as she, as she fights for her marriage. Make sure to watch and see what happens to all these women. Sad to see it end. Mm -hmm. I'm sad to see it end, but it's a guilty sounds, pleasure of mine. It, it sound, it's just a pleasure for me. Mm, yeah. It sounds like it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I wonder yeah. what they're going to do after this now, though. If Nothing. they're really the going to go into now. movies, I, in the films. Probably. You know, look at look at the look at the girls from Sex and the City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They made a whole movie. Another out. guilty pleasure. Oh, right. Right. I know. <laughs> I, I still show. watch that. Oh man. Yeah. Well, first up in entertainment, a DVC story. Are you interested in making films but don't know where to learn how? You may find this next report right up your alley. DVC has its share of film, art digital media, and broadcasting students. But how many of them know about opportunities for growth outside of the classroom? I think the overall purpose of Film Club is to provide an opportunity outside of class for students to pursue that, that aspect of film that they want to pursue. The purpose of our uh, film club is to get uh, gather all the filmmakers at Diablo, at Diablo Valley College and bring them together and let them network and get to know other filmmakers around the campus and give them opportunity to work in bigger groups and bigger productions. For example, this semester we tried to knock out one big project every semester and the current project we're working on is Ruthless, which should run about 10 to 15 minutes. I would say the rewarding things about being the director in film club is that at the end of the project you can say you've done it. Um, obviously it's not done just by me, I have a whole group helping me, um, but at the end it's, it's amazing to have that finished product um, and say that you've, like, you've accomplished something that you've never thought you could to begin with. Along with the opportunity to join the film club, students can share their media projects on a larger scale by submitting their work to a film club sponsored film festival. Right now is the end of the semester. Everyone is working very hard. The broadcast students are working hard. The um, art digital media students are working hard. The film students are working hard and losing sleep. <laughs> I can attest to that. And everyone's getting together their final projects and uh, hopefully for the opportunity to showcase them and have them um, viewed at the end of the semester film festival that the film club puts on. Are you submitting any films to the film festival this semester? Uh, not, not personally, but I am working on a few films such as Black Eyes 2 Revenge and Hybrids Dimension as well as Ruthless, so the directors will be submitting those this semester. I'm thinking about turn, um, submitting any, uh, some films to the film festival. Uh, I'm still thinking about it though. I am not submitting any films to the film festival. I originally was going to do a movie and possibly put it into the festival, but I ended up not doing it because I wanted to get more hands-on experience and see how a professional movie goes. The sixth annual Aspiring Minds Film Festival is being held on Thursday evening on May 24th. Film festival submissions are due to the Media Center the prior week on May 17th. I'm Dan Pasco. Now back to you in the studio. I can't wait to attend this summer's film festival. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fabulous. Mm -hmm. really. A lot of good films. Yeah, a lot of a lot of my friends that are filmmakers have been working really hard on their projects, yeah. and it's they're it's gonna be amazing. I'm yeah. really yeah. I'm really happy for them. I'm really happy to go see it. Yeah. But in other news, Octomom Nadia Solman, now a mother of 14 has ventured into the world of pornography. What? Oh, I, know, I know, I know. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> it's been reported that Solman is getting involved with the adult film industry and that her first scene is in production and due to release in June. In reference to quotes she made about her refusal to pose nude, Solman said, all that matters is that I take care of my family. That's too far. Yeah. A little too bit much. far. And how is she going to go from not wanting to pose nude to going into like full the adult hard. film industry? You know, it to it's me, a big step. it sounds like she found something she's good at. <laughs> we all have something. Yeah. You know? Yes, we do. Yes, but we do. Speaking of something that we're good at, actor Matthew Underwood, who played Logan on Nickelodeon's Zoe 101, was arrested and 
Point, Port St. Lucie, Florida, after police found him in a room with a 17-year-old girl and an unknown amount of marijuana. Another one? Another one? Uh, another one? Another one? Who's the next one going to be? I don't know. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> she's already I, gone on yeah, that. She's already going. Come on. Yeah. Loop, Catch, where loop. have you I'm been? Where have you been? You're going to inform me all this stuff. You're well, entertainment you, don't, you don't come over anymore. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, is the great American duo of child entertainment calling it quits? You got it, dude. Iconic child stars Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen have retired from acting after 25 years. Oh, oh my god. I know. I'm going to mess them. Yeah, they still look really up. young, though. You grew up watching They, they really. I, I love them on Full House and all yeah. the little Mary Kane Ashley movies, like all No More Dad. Oh, oh my god, I just good. watched that. Like, yeah. <laughs> me and my little sister used to watch that all the time. <laughs> but the twins told reporters that they would rather focus on their careers in fashion design. Ashley was quoted as saying that if she ever gets back into Hollywood, it won't be as an actress. The younger sister, Elizabeth, however, is continuing her career as an actress. Kudos for her. Well, she's, she's up and coming. She's doing pretty she's good. Beautiful. But at the same time, she has some big shoes to fill. Yeah. You know that? Mary Kane and Ashley, they were, they were the child stars of yeah. the 90s. Yeah. Elizabeth's way prettier. Or maybe I she'll go into the, all the um, straight-to-video movies like yeah. her sisters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just the solo act, though. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> well, last March, Google held a hacker contest where smart computer gurus found vulnerabilities and exploits in their software. One teenager, who only identified himself as Pinkie Pie, was able to escape the sandbox of the Chrome browser and set up three zero-day vulnerabilities. The teen teenager earned the maximum $60,000 cash prize and was soon reconsidered for a job at Google after having previously been turned down. That's impressive. Yeah. That really is. I'm surprised That's he got turned down if he's that smart. You know? Well, he obviously showed them that he could do it. That's yeah. awesome. You know? Good for him. Wonder if it's My awesome question job. is, did he, is it, is it self-taught or did he go to school for it? Probably self-taught. Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. teach you how to hack things. <laughs> I, 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 I do not. I just, or you can, you can YouTube it. I haven't bit. taken that class yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, but in the latest and greatest. Tupac is back, ladies Tupac's and gentlemen. Back. Oh, I'm so yes. excited. Yes, I can't wait to see his six pack again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, liked him, I liked him way bigger than Biggie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the legendary hip hop recording artist was shot and killed more than 15 years ago, but was resurrected in the form of a hologram at the Coachella Music and Arts Festival earlier this year. Since the performance, there have been talks of the hologram going on tour with other deceased artists and have been rumored to be returning for live performance as well. The remaining members of R&B trio TLC have already committed to touring a hologram of deceased Lisa Left Eye Lopez. I love Left Eye. I know. Yeah. She favorite. was amazing. She really was Your amazing. Left Eye was just so um, awesome. You didn't know what was going on with it. It was you awesome. really didn't. <laughs> Loved her. Yeah. But the future is here. The Wizards over at Google in the Mountain View, California, recently released a short clip of what many have speculated as their next big product, Google Glasses. <clears throat> the video shows a demo of a pair of clear glasses, which act as a pair of heads-up display screens in the video. The wearer is shown to be being able to have a video chat with a friend, check appointments on a calendar, and listen to music, among other things. Google has yet to release, release any further information about the project other than the video, but futuristic glass, glasses might be the next big thing. Maybe. But it's like a sci-fi movie. It really is. It really is. You gonna get some? I would really like them, but I just want to know, like, do are they UV protective? Yeah, maybe. Do they you act protect as your eyes. You gotta protect you your eyes. You have to, especially yeah. like oh, you're putting, yeah. you know, they could just act as magnifying glasses. I wonder yeah. if Gucci's gonna come out with the line. Oh, they better. <laughs> Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> well, Good from hackers to holograms, I'm Kevin Lum, and now I'm gonna go chase waterfalls. Thank you for that entertainment wrap-up. Kevin. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another edition of East Bay Today. I'm Nick Gonzalez. And I'm Stephanie Cole. Stay safe, East Bay.